David is no stranger to being a dominant athlete. I felt really cocky, you know, because I knew I could do hella weight, bro. I did hella weight, and I showed hella people that I could do it, you know? He would exercise in isolation, not because he was nervous, but because nobody else could keep up. I never worked out with people. Like, I never allowed people to work out with me. Like, even in high school, we'd have, like, stations. I would just be there by myself. Because no one could do my weight, bro, so... I've been pulled up to the gym when I was exercising, made fun of people, you know? Bro, I probably discouraged all these people before they ever went to the gym again. It wasn't just physical ability. David worked hard. Oh, this man right here, he is relentless. He's a hard worker. His work ethic wasn't coming from within. I feel like my motivation was 100% my family. Like, I didn't <laughs> work out because I wanted to. I literally was like, watch, like they had like a track log, like every time I scanned into LA Fitness and we would go over it together. Oh yeah, you're right, this day we, did, we didn't go to the gym. Okay, yeah, you're right, bro, it was literally like that. Like I had like a routine, bro. I'm telling you, bro, if I would get to the gym late, like a little late, and then the scanner showed, oh, what were you doing here? Were you hanging out with your friends? Now the bus was late. Oh, okay, cool. David started to resent his parents for controlling his life. I hate structure, bro. I hate that, like I can't, I don't like living like a robot. Get up, go to church, get up, go to this, go to, bro, my life as a kid, like was a great life, don't get me wrong. It's just way too structured, bro. Like it sets you up for failure, bro. Yeah, they're my parents, but they're like my coaches, bro. It was the same thing, like I hated it. Why do I have to tell you what I worked out for today? It's bogus. <laughs> David wasn't a fan of his childhood coaches to begin with. Just getting along with coaches. That was the hardest part of like me being a student athlete. I'd say he had a couple of a couple of rough relationships with coaches, just you know, from some of the conversations that we had riding the bus together, he would talk about how he was being overcoached. His family's obsession with fitness went beyond just weightlifting. I would, I would uh drink like protein shakes with my stepdad, and uh we we had like a subscription where we would get some every month and I would have to, if I were to be drinking my servings correctly, I should be done with the bag. David did not want to drink that much protein. I'm over it and I hated the chocolate ones, but that was the cheapest bag. So we always got that one. I always wanted the cookies and cream, never got it. Maybe like twice. I did like pre-workout and stuff. My stepdad was like, this one's a good for you. Like it's not too strong, you know? He'd like texted him out a lot, you know? I thought I was like hallucinating, but I was like, nah, hell no, I can't even work out. I mean, I'm so zapped. According to multiple teen health websites, it is recommended that teenagers do not take pre-workout until they are over 18 years of age. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for David. I was like 11 or 12. 11 or 12. When I was like already like doing hella weights and stuff, like drinking hella, like protein shakes and creatine and all that stuff. Even when David had success, his stepdad was not the most supportive. He was never like a type of guy like, oh, wow, like you did that way. It was more like, I knew you could do it. <laughs> not emotion, bro. I knew you could do it. You know, he's like, if you don't beat the weight, the weight's going to squish you, you know? And I hated that, bro, because he would let those weights squish me, bro. Like, and I would have to like, just hell to try, bro, or the little safety thing would come, but then I would feel embarrassed because I'd have to get off the machine and take off the weight, and I would always make sure to never get to that point. <sighs> this is what it looks like when you fail a bench press. Just imagine how embarrassed and disappointed you might feel with your stepdad watching you fail and get crushed. This led David to resent his family the same way he did some of his coaches. You, know, you got to listen to your coach because they know best yet they don't perform like you perform. I hated that, always as a kid. I ran out there and put my body on the line just so that a coach could say, yeah, that's my athlete. Bro, I would have pains on my body and they'd be like, no, you don't feel anything, keep going. You feel fine. Bro, it's crazy, crazy, bro. And as a kid, I was like, oh, okay, I feel fine, keep going. Bro, now my tailbone's all sorts of stuff. And I will, when I'm older, I will need like walking assistance. Like that's already proven, facts. Coaches, they don't care about their players at all. They don't care if we got bad health. They don't care about any of those things. They'd rather run us into a brick wall for their own dollar. 
David remembers how one coach specifically neglected his safety. And she was supposedly like a great athlete or whatever. She was always hella rude to me, always. And I feel like there was this one day where someone like spiked me, they like slipped me and I was bleeding hella, bro. Hella, hella during practice. She was like, nah, you're good. Keep running, bro. My sock was like drenched in blood. Why'd I listen to her when she said I was fine? She never even looked at me, bro. She gonna say I'm fine. This led David to a difficult conclusion. These people don't care. They're just here to get paid. I'm not here to be anybody's athlete, you know? Being pressured by coaches and his family led David to steer clear from everything they tried to teach him. David does not go to the gym anymore. I don't know. It's not, I don't really see it as my thing, you know? I feel like since I did it so much when I was younger, just like hate it, you know? Like the gym setting is just like not really my thing, you know? Being away from the gym for so long, it can be intimidating and difficult to get back into it. People is like scared and they're like embarrassed and everything like that. Like, so bro, just getting out of like, just entering the gym is harder than them actually doing the weights. Even if going to the gym is too much of a commitment for right now, there are other options. You know, someone has to start somewhere, you know, and I feel like a good way to start exercising is like doing your own weight. Home exercise is plenty fine, you know? And I feel like a lot of people are like shamed by that. Like, oh, you work out at home? Like, oh, you must not get no gains. A lot of people think that because they can't go out to a gym that they can't work out. But for me, a lot of, I feel like where, my, where I got my start is working out at home. You know, knocking out push-ups, knocking out pull-ups, hitting abs. And then that's where you start to build some sort of confidence because you, once you're more consistent with that, you start to see, you know, some of the results. You're not going to see massive results, but you start to see some of the results. And then once you start to, you know, to build up that frame, you start to get in better shape just by doing simple things like push-ups, pull-ups, ab workouts and whatnot, things you could do at home. Then it's like, okay, hold on. I'm looking good. You know, I want to go out to the gym. I want to, I want to show this off, right? Having a buddy really like get you out of like your comfort zone. Like for example, like when we first went to the gym, I would have been embarrassed before to like have someone that I knew seeing like a, the weight I was doing. That would have been embarrassing to me. But no, I felt like just that moment and opportunity to be like, I gotta like humble myself out. Like I'm not the athlete that I used to. I feel like really helps with having a buddy because then it reminds you like, hey, if your buddy doesn't make fun of you, who cares what other people say? If you really do want to start working out, you can. It's never too late. I'm Noah Bolter, Murrow News 8.